Okay, let's talk about variance in sports betting. Welcome to Juice Bets. My name is Trevor, and today we're going to be talking about kind of a touchy subject and something that a lot of people don't quite understand. And getting into sports betting and into plus EV betting, they don't they don't realize how much this one word has an effect over them, and that word is variance. Now, by variance, I mean long stretches of winning or losing. Um, and, you know, this is a term that that talks about, um, you know, how sometimes you can be winning a lot in a row and, you know, you are outperforming the expected outcome. And then sometimes you're going to have a lot of losses in a row. You might have a few days, a week, or even a month of losses, right? And you're still placing the correct bets. You're still doing the process properly, but you're losing because there's variance in this. There's negative variance and there's positive variance. So today I just wanted to make a video to kind of go over, you know, what it is, how it works, why it affects us so much, and maybe a couple ways to deal with it so it doesn't affect you uh, too much. So a perfect way to kind of look at variance would be this calendar right here. I mean, you can see green days, you can see red days. You can see three red days in a row and then a big green day. You can see two big green days in a row and then a red day, right? It's There's times where you're winning, times where you're losing. And, and variance can come out in many different ways, right? That's the daily. If we scroll down and look at look at the weekly here, right? I've only been tracking my bets on Odds Jam for about six weeks now. And we've been doing great, right? Like we've had four positive weeks in a row and then a small negative one and now a positive one again, right? Like we are actually technically we have positive variance right now. So at, at some point there's going to be another negative week. And it's something that you need to expect, honestly rely upon because that is the way of resetting your cycle of resetting the way that you're going to be winning long term. It's just a part of the process here. And so one way to look at variance would be like, okay, so if you're placing profitable bets on a consistent basis, and let's assume you have a 4% edge. So let's assume you're going to be winning your bets at a 54% rate, right? That would be great. You win 54% of your bets, assuming your bets are above uh, even money, and you're going to be making money. However, if you're flipping a coin and heads is 54%, obviously you're going to be taking that heads, but guess what? Tails is going to show up a lot, right? You might flip that coin with 54% of the time it's going to land on heads and you might get tails eight times in a row. Does that mean you're doing something wrong? No, not necessarily. Does that mean that this strategy, this process does not work? No, it means that you're seeing negative variance. You're seeing the two sides to every coin, right? You've got, um, you've got an edge and you're taking it and if you consistently take it over time and increase your volume, increase the amount of bets that you're placing over time, when you have a large sample size, that's how you can remove the variance, right? So if you take, if you flip that coin 10 times and you end up landing on tails eight out of the 10 times, you're losing money. But that's only 10 times, that's a tiny sample size. If you do that 10,000 times, you know, and, and, and you're still out of 10,000 times and you're landing on tails 8,000 times, then something's wrong, right? Uh, at that point, you would like to see it be around, you know, 5,400 heads, right? That would be, you know, in line with the percentage that your edge, right? That would be, that would make sense. A long way of saying variance means that sometimes you're gonna be losing and it doesn't necessarily mean that something's wrong. Another great way to look at this would be my cat's litter box, my cat Dave. He likes to shed and sometimes, let's say we're starting off on a Monday morning and I'm expecting, okay, on Thursday, I'm gonna to need to clean this guy's litter box out because it's gonna be smelling terrible. On Thursday, I come around, he's only pooed twice. But what happened here? Is he, is he okay? And I'm like, okay, well, I don't need to scoop it now because guess what? There's only two pieces of shit. It's fine. I just leave it in the corner or whatever. Friday, Saturday comes along. This guy is shitting like crazy. He takes like five dumps. All of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, I got to scoop this, right? It 
you know, so, so sometimes it, 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 it doesn't work perfectly. It's not like every single time it's a heads and a tails. It's a shit and it's a no shit. It, it fluctuates, right? It goes up and down. And so you need to be prepared. You need to have that litter scoop on hand and not get upset when it's not going your way and when things are going down or up and recognize that the number one thing to do is increase your volume and increase the number of bets that you're placing. And if you do that over a long period of time, you basically can remove that variance. And then the second tip before I finish this video would be, if you think that variance affects you, stop watching these games, stop following these bets. Just place them throughout the day. When the games start, don't even look at your bet tracker. Don't look at things, just let it go. Wake up the next morning, you can see how you did and you're in and you're placing new bets again. I think that's one way that I like to handle it myself. After 5 p.m., you know, I'm done. I'm making dinner with my girlfriend and I have moved on from actually looking at the bets. Obviously, I still like to watch sports, but I'm not staring at the sweat station on Odds Jam, looking at, you know, all my bets that are upcoming and all that. Like that, I mean, if you want to do that, that's great. But if it affects you negatively, if the variance makes you feel shitty every day because you're losing sometimes, I would leave it. Anyway, so that's what variance is. Um, I hope, hopefully you guys found it useful um, and, and you liked some of my analogies there. Um, I'm gonna continue making videos over the next few days. So definitely stay tuned. Um, some more tips and tricks, uh, ways to make a lot of money betting on sports, using Odds Jam. Um, and, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.